you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking my top players from the Mud Heroes promo. Now, obviously, that doesn't include the sidekicks because they're not the heroes. So, for the most part, I imagine their stats won't be anywhere near the 91s and the 90s. Now, this list was a little bit harder to make than I expected because honestly, beyond like five to six players, I really don't like the rest, the rest of the players that they're dropping, in my personal opinion. But I will be ranking them. Now, this ranking will be more of a top 10 list per se. And then when the actual house rules pack and the solo challenge pack is available, I'll make a, a list going over like my concrete, like these four or five guys are the ones you need to take. Because towards the bottom half of my top 10 list, they fit the list as a top 10 one, but I don't think they'd be my choice. So like I said, so stay tuned for the updated list coming when the actual fantasy packs that are not come out because I will be going over the top actual like four or five players that I think interchangeably you could take and going in depth on what your team should look like if you want to take these type of players and I'll go over all that. And this one I'll be doing it over on Mudhead obviously because not all the players are out yet. And to be honest with you, two of my top three or maybe even three of my top three are all not out or released yet from the Mud Heroes promo. And also guys, today I will be making a video going over whether or not I think the Mud Heroes promo is worth it. And going over all the ins and the outs of that so if it's out already go check that out if i post it after this make sure to check that out later on but guys before we get into the video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we're at 9,400 subscribers we're slowly churning away at 10k let's hit that big milestone all guys go down below smash that subscribe button you won't regret it for daily madden content make sure to hit down turn on that noti bell also to get notified when i post brand new videos just like this and if you haven't already go hit the thumbs up button boys let's get this video to 200 likes if you're a loyal fan, loyal supporter, make sure to hit that like button, boys. And don't forget to comment down below how, what your feedback is towards my rankings. If you think I'm entirely wrong, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm getting there, I like to always see feedback. So let's head on over to the Twitter screen, or should I say the Mudhead screen, you stay in Twitter screen, and go check out these players. So coming in at number 10, we got David Johnson. Now, I was kind of reluctant to like put him on this list. At first, I was considering it, and I didn't really want to put him on here, but I did use him in that gameplay. If you guys did watch it, David Johnson did kind of ball out, and that was without any abilities. I feel like if you were to put like Leapfrog on him or Jukebox or any of the other abilities you can get, you could probably make this card to an animal. So I was thinking about it, and he had to make this list, at least a top 10, because compared to some of the other cards in this promo, they're pretty ass. So he was kind of a shoe in to make the top 10 for me. Now he's got 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 agility, 75 strength, 91 jumping, 85 trucking, 84 looseness, 88 ball carry vision, 86 stiff arm, 92 juke move, 86 carrying, and 86 broke, uh, break tackle. So as a whole, he's kind of like the jack of all trades. He's not the, he's fast, he can accelerate pretty well, he's agile, he can jump really high, he can truck pretty well, he can, good ball carry vision, good stiff arm, really good juke move, decent carrying, decent break tackle, decent spin move. He's kind of like, he can do everything well. Nothing amazing, but everything well. Fights or extra yards, yes. High motor, yes. Make silent catch, yes. Now let's go on over to the next one. Coming in at number nine, we got Xavier Howard, another guy that I didn't really want to put on this list at first, but compared to the other guys on the, during this promo, he kind of seemed like he had to be on here. So he got 90 speed, 90 excel. And by the way, the reason I say that is because I have guys at this position already on this list. So I didn't really want to double up, but kind of like the best positions they drop seem to be similar all around. So for Xavier Howard, he's got 90 speed, 90 excel, and that 88 jumping. That's kind of like right there where you want an Xavier Howard card. He's a combine athlete kind of guy. He's a athletic beast, and he's got 89 zone, 86 press. So if you power this guy up and chem him up properly, you will get a threshold zone, threshold press. You'll get really good athleticism. The only thing you're really missing is man coverage, which does kind of suck from the way this game plays, but again, still not horrible. Next on the list, we got Deion Jones, middle linebacker. So the reason he's not higher on this list is because I don't really think middle linebackers are worth it right now because we get so many good ones for free, such as Devin White with an 88 speed and Ryan Shazier, team captain. So that's kind of why I've been keeping middle linebackers down on my list because I really, I've had personally no use for them. He has 86 speed, 87 excel. 86 play rack, 81 jumping, which is really good for a user linebacker, 87 pursuit, 87 tackle, 81 hit power, 84 zone. He's like the, literally the exact thing you want a middle linebacker as a user. 
but we were already given Devin White and Chase Deer. Unless you guys have taken none of them, then I guess you could, but I feel like a lot of the community has at least one of the two, so that's kind of why I'm out on him. Next on the list, coming in at number, what is this? We had 10, 9, 8, so we're at 7, Chris Harris Jr. He's got 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 83 agility, 87 jumping. He's not the most athletic, but he's definitely up there, especially if you power him up. The reason he's not as high on the list is because he's not as athletic as I think he could be, or that's usable right now. At this point in the game, you kind of want your cornerbacks to have minimum 87 speed, so if you get him now, he's good, but then in a few weeks, he might be a little behind, so I don't think he's much of a long-term option. He does have 91 play rec, though, 91 man, 85 zone, 83 press. If you power this guy up, you can him up, and you put John Madden on him, you could potentially get his zone coverage to a 90, which that would make this card pretty, pretty crazy, but he was, that's the reason to hire on this list, and again, I got another cornerback at number six. We got Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller on the Bears, cornerback. The reason he's on this list is because of his athleticism and his combined zone and man. He's got 89 speed, 89 excel, 87 agility, 88 jumping, 86 play rec. Those stats alone are good enough to be in someone's lineup. Then he's got 85 man, 93 zone coverage, 84 press. Now it does suck that his press is a little low in his man, but again, he's one of those guys that you toss John Madden onto him and you toss lockdown on him and you power him up. His man could potentially hit 90, which would then make him one of the most lockdown athletic corners in the game. But that applies to a lot of the corners that were dropped in this promo. Coming in at number five, we have Greg Olson. Now, if you guys haven't looked already, Greg Olson, if you compare him to the new limited time Rob Gronkowski, I actually believe he's better. So he's got 82 speed, 84 excel, 80 agility. I wish the speed was a little bit higher, but the 82 speed is definitely good considering his catching stats. Typically, what Madden does is they'll give us these level of catching stats, but then they'll give us a really low speed, so it's like, it's like Zach Ertz. In this case, they gave him a good enough speed to be usable. He's got 86 jumping, 96 awareness. Now this is where he really shines to 93 catch, 93 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch. He's kind of like a lock to make the catch, and he has a pretty decent route running at an 86 short route running, 83 medium route running, 77 deep route running, and 89 release. I don't entirely know how much that release will help, maybe if a linebacker mans up in man coverage, but other than that, the, ca the card is looking pretty nice. His run blocking could be a little bit better, but I will take it. Next on the list, number four, we got David DeCastro, someone that I've actually picked up myself. He is an awesome line, uh, lineman at right guard. He's better than Larry Allen. He's got all threshold blocking stats. If you just give you either power him up, chem him up, or put John Madden passing or rushing on him, he has above 90 pass blocking, above 90 run blocking. He'll probably get close to above 90 lead blocking and really high impact blocking at a high 80 with 90 strength, 87 awareness. This card is a monster at right guard. Again, I've been loving him so far. I cannot wait to get one of the guys on this list so he can run behind this guy. But coming up to number three, we have Jamal Adams, strong safety for the Jets. Now, the only reason I didn't put him at like number one or two is because he is a strong safety, which means that we most people are getting Pat Tillman already have him. So it kind of it's kind of hard to use a Jamal Adams when you have a free 95 to 96 overall Pat Tillman. But he has an 87 speed, 86 excel. At strong safety, that's really good. He's got 92 awareness, 92 play rec. That's also really good. Jumping is a little bit low. He's got 86 man, 87 zone coverage. Now, two things here. This card could be the ultimate box um box safety would be one of the best linebackers in the game if you put him there or even at safety if you were to power this guy up and like i said chem him up with john madden he would have threshold zone threshold man with that speed and he'd also have a 94 hit power this card is like that landon collins card on steroids he also has 90 pursuit which means he can catch almost anyone in the game decent enough catching pretty good tackle this card as a whole is just pretty insane the other reason he's not higher is because he's a strong safety and like i said it's like little linebackers it's just hard to really fit them into the lineup there then at number two, which I would I would have put him at one, but I feel like that'd be too biased. Saquon Barkley, 91 overall Mutt Heroes running back. And guy, honestly, I'm pretty hyped about this card. I cannot wait to see what abilities he gets. I already have him powered up to an 89. He's got 89 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 78 strength, 90 jumping. This stats are here pretty insane to begin with. Then he's got 80 trucking, 86 elusiveness, 80, uh, 77 ball carry vision. I don't know how much that's going to affect him. 82 stiff arm, 89 spin, 90 juke, 92 carry, 93 break tackle. If I power this guy up, chem him up properly with everything, he's going to have a 90 speed, 91 excel, 94 agility, a 91 jumping. His spin move is going to be threshold, his juke's going to be threshold, his carry's ready threshold, and his break tackle is going to be like a 95. His stiff arm's going to be like an 84. He might even hit like some 90 elusiveness. And he can even catch and route run pretty decently for a running back. I'm super hyped for this card. And at number one on the list is a guy that I had to go with because the knock on Jalen Rams in the beginning of the year every year is that he gets insane pass coverage stats, insane run support stats, but no athleticism. So what usually happens is the second Ramsey comes out and he's got both and then he's insane. So he's got 88 speed, 88 excel, 89 jumping. That lines up with some of the most athletic corners in the game. 
87 player, 85 agility, 87 awareness. Now, usually that doesn't come with much threshold stats after that. He's got 92 man, 90 zone, 92 press, and he even has a 43 block shot, which is a little bit lower, but his head power is nice at a 75. So this card, chemmed up and powered up, will have an 80, close to 90 speed. All these stats will be close to 90. These stats will be like, if powered up properly with John Madden and chems, could probably be like mid 90s for everything. And I believe he's like six foot something, six foot one. He's on the taller side for cornerback. This card's gonna be a monster. For me personally, my nap packs, I'm gonna be taking at least two people from at least this top 10 list. But no, I will be revamping this list for you guys. Later, let's head back over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, so back on the Madden screen, haven't opened this in a little bit, so we got that thing right there. But guys, I will be revamping this list for you guys in probably a day or two. What's today? Sunday? So now probably Tuesday for you guys so that I can go over the best like five players that I think are interchangeable. Like, you can take any of them for your free because you get two. You get one from the solo challenge and one from house rules. So stay tuned for that, boys. But that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy my rankings. If you did, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you did make it this far and you did enjoy. And if you haven't already, comment down below your feedback towards this list. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.